What is up, everyone? My name is Caleb with the Meta Jungle team. I'm also known as Duck McDuck on Twitter, OpenSea, and Discord, so you can find me over there. But I'm here today to talk a little bit more about a new project in the world of block packs. Now, I talked a little bit about block packs in my last video, but what block packs is is a sports collectible NFT project that allows you to purchase, win, and earn NFTs that are tied to real life physical collectibles oftentimes uh, high value cards. So let's go ahead and just jump right in and talk about this new feature or new part of Block Packs. Now, when Block Packs was started, the key feature of their project were drops of packs of Raz. Now you could obtain packs of Raz sometimes by purchasing it or also just by signing up for Block Packs for free. Packs would then be digitally opened or ripped, similar to how you would open a pack of physical cards. In each pack is RAS, which are tokens that represent an opportunity to win an NFT representing ownership of an underlying physical card. Then there would be elimination rounds at set points, where half of the RAS would be eliminated until there was only one RAS token left and the NFT would be awarded to the holder of that RAS token. As an example, let's say that you obtain a few packs of Raz. After ripping them, you find out that you have five Raz tokens for a 2003 LeBron James rookie card. Now there are 2,048 total Raz tokens out there for this card, and that number is going to be halved until there is only one Raz left. After one round of eliminations, one of my Raz tokens gets eliminated. So now I only have four out of 1,024. The elimination rounds keep going down to 512, 256, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and then finally to 1. After all of those elimination rounds, somehow my one Raz survived and I win the LeBron card. Now, if I wanted to increase my chances, I could have done some trading in between rounds in the Block Packs Discord or even purchased a live Raz on OpenSea. Now, the problem here is that winning one of the underlying cards is difficult. The odds can make it really hard for you to actually win the card. And while the trading environment can be a lot of fun, if you don't win the underlying card in the end, you kind of have nothing to show for all of your work. Well, that's no longer the case. Blockpacks is introducing what is called Infinite Moment NFTs. Infinite Moments are NFTs that can be purchased either straight from Blockpacks or on the secondary market and are NFTs that commemorate some of the best, most significant moments in sports history. Each moment is made up of five key components, the subject, the summary, the date, the location, and the link, which will take you to various forms of digital media that will bring the moment back to life. Infinite moments give collectors the chance to set build, since each moment will be released in five parallels of varying rarity, as well as a common rarity. Building sets that will allow collectors to gain various future rewards from block packs. All right, well, that sounds cool and all, but what does that have to do with packs and RAS? Well, now packs of RAS will be distributed to collectors based on how many infinite moments you have in your wallet at the time of the drop. So if you have five infinite moments in your wallet, you would receive five packs of RAS. So even if you don't survive the RAS eliminations, you are always going to have those infinite moments that you can collect, trade, and sell. In a sense, the packs of Raz are just an added bonus to collecting infinite moments. It'll be interesting to see how infinite moments grow as they are released and what their market ends up being once they are established, but Blockpacks really seems to be continuing to innovate and make their product better and better for collectors and for sports fans. But guys, please go and follow both me and Meta Jungle on Twitter and also go check out the Meta Jungle Discord server. Join over there and also come and give me a shout out in the physical collectible NFT channel. Also, make sure to like, share and subscribe this video and really just continue to come back to hear for more information about NFTs. But guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.